Is somebody going to get fired? No. <laughs> Feeling good. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> that made me dizzy. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> it's exciting. You can't tell from this side of the room. It's very serious over here. <sighs> Enough stalling, Kristen. Well, that... You feel what you... F yeah, how does that... What else can I say? You blew it. Fail! <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're behind. Okay, here we go. Once again, that side of the room, no reaction. Do you think I can sing with this in my mouth? Yeah, go ahead and try it. Cause when you're brittler, is when you're softer. <laughs> I want to do it rock so badly. Cause when you're older. I really like that one. Mm. Mm. Papa's tired of being told that his singing isn't good enough for Frozen 2. Papa's scared he's going to get replaced by another Papa named Jack Black. It's good doinky doinky boinky flunky boo boo. Do you have any suggestions? Do you have any suggestions? Hey guys! Meet the wind spirit! The wind spirit. The wind is very important to Scandinavian culture. Mm -hmm. Different wind spirits are an important part of the folklore, and we got really excited about that idea because in Frozen 1, it says in Let It Go, one with the wind and sky. What is yeah. this wind we're talking about? So having a lot of fun with the wind spirit. The first time we're being introduced to this character is with Queen Aduna, who you see in flashbacks in the forest of the North Eldra. We knew we were going to have Anna and Elsa's parents in this, and we loved that Aduna has a relationship with the wind spirit, and you got to really see how comfortable she is in nature. Get to see her playful spirit, which you can see really maybe where Anna gets it. I love how there's so much thought put into every little beat of this character, and nobody settles for anything less than magic. The wind's back. <laughs> Delicious. I think I'll name you Gale. I love that Gale starts off very ominous, but then becomes very sort of mischievous with our characters and wants to find out more about them. And technically, it's beautiful. It's a character that is basically invisible, and that was the challenge. We had to try to give Gale a personality. How do we give personality to something that's invisible? And so we decided that you will see it, whether it's picking up leaves or twigs, or even if it's just clothing or hair, you will sense that the wind is there. As Gail's playing with these elements and clothing, it gives you this personality. And as the story goes on, it actually sort of guides them a little bit and helps them towards solving some of the mysteries. This forest is beautiful. Did you know the look of the enchanted forest was inspired by a classic Disney movie? Wait, what? Can you guess which one? Um, if you guessed Sleeping Beauty, you're correct. Oh. We all kind of got it. The artists were inspired by Ivan Durrell, who created the ethereal backgrounds and color choices of the Walt Disney classic. More specifically, filmmakers loved his vertical lines and grouping of trees. I'm sure you know that Jonathan Groff plays the voice of Kristoff. Clearly. <laughs> and he also plays the voice of Sven, who of course is really Kristoff giving his reindeer buddy a voice. Am I supposed to feel this ridiculous? Oh yeah. Did you know that in the song Lost in the Woods, Jonathan Groff does the voice of all 17 backup singer reindeer? What? I'm lost in the woods. What a talented guy. Oh, you do the best voices. first see the fire spirit, you don't even know that there's this little animal inside it. You just think it's a scary fire. So it's a big surprise to see the salamander. And that's what we love about that character. Fire is this teeny tiny little salamander. And he's so cute. And so just like, oh, look at little salamander. I don't start any trouble or anything. He's a big fire. Comes out of this teeny tiny salamander. See, you can't judge a spirit by its cover. They're all looking at us, aren't they? And the fire spirit started from mythology. The reason it was a salamander is that when people threw logs on the fire, salamanders would run out, obviously because of the heat, and that's where they lived. And so they decided that the salamander was going to be the fire spirit. So we took off from that, and the salamander is very cute. As soon as we saw the design, we loved it. That's like my first layer. Yeah, this is the part where I'll probably start to clean them up. Kind of looks like. I also like drawing on paper. I feel yeah. like something slightly different that happens. 
when you're drawing paper. Hey, Lisa here with a bonus animation behind the scenes movie fact. Now, did you know that the scene in Frozen where Elsa walks out of her ice palace took 132 hours, and that's more than five days to generate? And that's not including the time it took to draft, draw, and create. Hmm. Now, remember to stay up to date on the latest movie releases by clicking below and on the side for more great content. And if you like my shirt, you can get one for yourself in the link in the description.